Hey, what's up guys? So this is the last video in this series where I'll be showing you guys how to enhance colors in your shots. I actually had fun in this series. This is my first set of tutorials. I had fun editing it and walking through it with you guys. First shot I did was a, a night shot in New York here and the second shot was also a night shot. But in this one, I've decided to go with a daylight shot to show you guys how the same technique applies in a different setting. If you haven't seen the rest of the videos, I'll leave the link here and I'll also leave the links in the description below. If you like content like this, please subscribe to the channel and I'll be doing more of these things. As we jump right into it, don't forget that you have to update your Lightroom to the most recent version as of this date so that you have all the functionalities that I'll be using in this video, okay? So stick around and, and let's dive right into it. So for this last shot, I decided to uh, edit something during daylight. Um, this place is called Jen, Jane's Carousel, uh, it's in Dumbo, Brooklyn, uh, it's a very popular spot and um, it's, it's one of the times I took a, a walk during this whole season and I just wanted to get some air so um, I, I took this shot with my pixel phone in perspective. Uh, this is the before and this is the after as you can see there's not a lot that I did here to there's not a, a lot of drastic changes on editing that I did here, but um, if you notice, um, I just made the colors pop in the back, um, the image in my phone stand out a little bit. So I didn't do a lot, as you can see, I just made the colors in the back pop and just the uh, details on my hands. Uh, so let's, let's jump right into it. Uh, I'm gonna hit reset on this so we have a fresh start. So before, uh, after looks the same. So we're gonna work on this. Uh, so we'd always first things first, let's uh, make sure the horizon is straight and let's get our croppings in place. So we're gonna rotate this, center this, and just rotate. Um, always remember to use the, uh, the horizons in your shot to make your image straight. Um, if your camera doesn't have that built in, remember to line it up with something that's straight in the shot. So for me, I am going to line it up with the uh, building. I'm going to line it up with the building on top here. Um, just to get that, make it look straight. And sometimes when you pull out, it might not look straight. So let's just fix that. And see the top is straight but the bottom is not straight because the floor wasn't straight so what I like to do to get to fix that is to crop in just a little bit and boom guys remember to crop your pictures I cannot explain and say how important it is it's very important and the difference that cropping makes is, is it's just huge um, so all right so let's get into it um, Let's quickly tweak this. I'll just bring up my temp a little bit up, nothing too much. Um, make this a little brighter. That's fine. I am going to pump up the contrast a little more. I think that's fine. Highlights. Uh, let's keep that here. Shadows, bring it up a little. Whites, keep that here. And let's bring down the blacks just a little bit. Uh, texture, I'll put up the texture a little bit and clarity just a tad and that's fine for me. Um, vibrance, I want these colors to pop once again so let's bring up the vibrance and a little bit of the saturation, that should be good. Alright, uh, nothing crazy, let's bring that down, that's good. Alright, so let's get into the colors. I really don't want to see too many other colors besides the orange, the yellow, and a little bit of the blues. Uh, it was overcast, so I like to keep that. So I don't really need the purple, let's bring it down. Uh, the magenta, I'll bring it down here. Purple, let's bring it down here. Blue, I'll bring it down here. That's fine as well. Um, this, that's fine, I don't see that. My greens, I'll bring that here. Bring that here a little bit. Yellow, I'll make that more orangey, I like that. And I'll probably make this pop just a little bit, nothing crazy. My orange, make that pop just a little bit. That's fine. Yeah, so I like that. Um, noise reduction, probably not too much, a little bit. And um, one thing I'm gonna do is to make 
the image on my phone pop just a little more nothing too much so i'm gonna use this uh, adjustment brush um i'll use uh, preset a and i'll just tweak this up a little bit say there and you want to just brush over that spot again we're not trying to make this fake too much um if that's your thing go right ahead that's totally fine for me i'll just make it stand out a little much a little bit bring up the contrast um that's good for me that works um i want to do something to my hand so let me pick this preset um probably make my hand be a little brighter Let's see Here's fine. Um, there's fine. And we'll bring this up a little. Ah, let me let's see. Bring this up. No, actually, I'm using the same brush. Why did I do that? Let's undo that. Undo all of that. Okay. All right. I need to use. Let me see, does this work? Let's see. Let's grab that. Okay. Use this. Okay, so we're done that, and then we hit done. Boom. And um, I think I want to make my hands stick out a little, like a little brighter. So um, let's come here, and, and I think I'm fine with this. Nothing crazy, just a little bit. All right, and let's bring up the texture to show the details. Little clarity and bring down the contrast. Yep, think I'm fine with the hands that way. And um, yeah, I like it so far. So let's see this is what what it was before, and you can see the difference in the picture. Um, next thing I need, I think I need to bring down the highlights just a little bit, and that's fine. And let's just throw on this graduated filter. To give it a nice little look so always remember to reset this um graduated filter um what i want to do here is again bring down the shadows and bring up your blacks to add that nice look just want a little bit more you can tell how much of that is applied when you um over your shadows so when you look on in the dark side of your pictures the dark parts of your pictures you can see how much of that you're applying you don't want that too much just a little bit um and i feel like this picture is a little too bright for me so i'll just bring that down i think i like that and i don't want to lose the blacks um everywhere my phone is already black so that's fine and uh yeah i think i'm fine with this yeah, so let's see the before shots and the after shots and the after edits before, after. So yeah, I think I like that. Let me just bring this brightness here and pump up the contrast. Yeah, that's better. All right, so there you have it. Before, after, before, after. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, let me know what you guys think. So that's it for this video. Let me know if you picked up on any skill. Let me know if you liked anything that I did. Let me know if you disliked anything that I did. Let me know if anything here helps you to be a better photographer, to be a better editor. Remember, how you edit pictures and how you shoot depends on you. You are the photographer. How I'm showing you is not the only way to do things. How I shoot is not the best way to do it. It's the best way for me. It's the way that works for me. The point of this tutorial 
growth is to help one, two, or a few people to pick up on a skill. So if this helped you in any way, let me know in the comments below. If you learned something, let me know. If you'd like to see more videos like this, if you have any question about gear, lighting, Lightroom, anything that I do in this tutorial that you have any question, feel free to reach out to me in the comments. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. So thank you, stay safe, stay creative, and keep shooting. Uh, remember, the only way to get better is to shoot more and more. And I'll see you next time.